Hello, my friends, and welcome to a new episode. Today, we're going to have a little bit of creative fun uh, in the direction of beard faces. So as you can see here, um, I created this from this image that I found online. I looked at it and I thought, hey, we can combine the beard with his hair and make a ball out of that because this is just asking for it. And then there is another thing where we put the face in the beard. So we have two faces. It's another version of a beard face. So let's get started. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria. Let's start this episode. So the first one is very easy, actually. So we will, um, first of all, duplicate our layer. Where is it? There it is, duplicate. And uh, then what we're going to do is just rotate the image. There we go. And I hold shift because this will snap to certain degrees. So it's a lot easier to go 180 degrees uh, to turn it around. And um, the next thing we're going to do is that we are going to create a mask for our layer. There we go. And with this, we can just take our brush and we can hide the elements we don't need. And we have to do some adjustments after that. I will make my brush actually bigger so we can see. You can see you get this great uh, preview here. And we have this huge benefit that the upper side of the image is completely white. Uh, so this will make it very easy to create just a ball. And I'm going to roughly um, put this in here. We don't need to look for too much detail at the moment because we're going to fix it in a second. The last stroke was too much. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to reduce the size of the brush. And you can see over here we have an ear and we have to reveal that ear. So you can always brush it in a little bit bigger than you need because then we can switch the uh, masking color from black to white and zoom in and then hide the details again that have been revealed uh, too intensely, let's say. Okay, there we go. So with here we have the ear. That's okay. Switch the color again, bring a little bit back of the ear, switch it again. Uh, hide this a little bit here. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Uh, let's go like this. There is the ear. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So you can see this is pretty fun. It's very easy to do. And uh, you can do very creative stuff with this kind of just masking out things, combining them in a creative way. Of course, you can see here we have this line now in the middle. We will hide that in a second. I just want to make sure that everything looks interesting. Well, let's see here. Maybe we re re reveal a little bit more of the beard up here. Uh, we can also take a bigger brush size and then this is going to start um, to blend a little bit. This looks okay. And this can help us in certain aspects. See down here. I think that looks pretty okay down here. I will leave it like that. So the next thing that we're going to do is to create a new pixel layer on top of everything. And I'm going on the left side to uh, select my clone brush. And with that, we want to set the source to layers beneath. So it's sampling from everything that we are seeing and then drawing onto the pixel layer. And I can hold the Alt key and just select some interesting looking hair from up here. Let's take this part here to draw it in. And then from the other side, this part that might be a little bit too repetitive. So let's, let's see if we can make this somewhat believable and interesting. Okay, let's put some hair in here. Let's see, maybe like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. And um, another thing that we can do, another trick that we can do is when we rotate the picture, we have the huge benefit that, um, how can I say, visually things are hiding in plain sight um, because when they are rotated, it's not so easy for our eyes to identify what is going on. So what we can do here, let's um, group both of these. And let's see what happens when we rotate all of that to the side. Nope, that doesn't work. I have to take both of them. There we go. 
So now we have it like this. Let's rotate it a little bit more, maybe. Uh, let's see. That looks fun. Okay, we can go like this. Um, I will create another layer for the background here, and I will just take uh, my brush and my sampling tool here, sample the color, click, and then I just can paint in the same color here. So these are, um, how can I say, lining up from the color. There we go. We can just brush this in on the sides. It's a very quick and easy way to fix this kind of situation. And you can see here we have some lines, but for that we can just take our eraser, um, go to the layer where the offending pixels are. If I find that layer, that is. So this is this one. There we go. And over here. We have some other pixels. There we go. Okay. So this was the first picture. You can see it's a lot of fun. It's very easy to do. And it's a great effect um, to combine these faces in an interesting way for different kind of designs or um, yeah, just to have fun. Okay. Let's go to the next one, which is this picture here. And that's equally easy and equally fun. So the only thing we have to do here, first of all, I'm going to rasterize this layer. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And we are going to resize it. I'm holding my control key, so it's resizing the picture in all directions and, and towards the center in the same size. Now we want to figure out where we can put this face here. So um, his beard basically looks like a haircut. We can reduce the opacity to give us a better kind of um, idea of what is happening here. So that looks pretty good, I would say. Okay, so we can go like this. Another thing that I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to go here and select the lower layer of the bigger picture and just select this part or maybe a little bit more um, of the beard like this. And I'm going to control C, control V to copy and paste it. So you can see we have a copy of the beard. I can just put this down here. So it's a little bit longer. And then I'm going to take my eraser brush with a pretty big size and low hardness and just brush over here a little bit also on the side. So I'm hiding the parts of the shirt that I'm also duplicating. You can see now we have a longer beard um, below that area. So that's super easy. And we will go and select both of these layers and hit Control G to group them and then we can create a mask in here. So I'm going to take the other layer of the other face that we created and put this at the bottom below the group, then create a mask and put the mask on top, on the top layer inside of the group of the bigger face. There we go. Again, we're gonna take our paintbrush tool and you can see here, I can already see the preview. I'm gonna make this smaller and then control and roll my mouse uh, wheel to zoom in a little bit. And as again, as before, let's make the hardness actually zero. We can just draw in the face here. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. This is too fine uh, to start. Okay, there we go. Super easy, as you can see. I'm just going up here. So we connect um, the upper hair. We don't need the ear. We can hide that again. And right now I'm gonna make my brush smaller. So can draw in some smaller details here. We have to, f oh, we actually had a good connection with the glasses. I don't need, I don't think we need to fix them too much. Up here we have this kind of harsh border. We're gonna fix that in a second. Let's look at the glasses. That actually looks pretty good. Let's make the hardness, um, maybe not 100%, maybe 60% like that. Um, make the brush smaller even, change the color to black. Maybe even smaller like this. So I can just draw in the glasses over here. So we have a nice um, border and this looks like it's actually on top of the beard. So next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the brushes and take our paint brushes 
and then just take one of these more um, rough um, dry looking brushes here and I can use that with the color you can see here let's make this a little bit smaller and um, reduce the hardness reduce the opacity a little bit just draw well that nope that's not the effect I was going for let's see so in here again let's try to take another brush that didn't look as good as I wanted it to look how is this one let's see opacity 8 percent let's go a little bit higher 29 percent okay this is pretty good you can see here it looks roughly like hair not perfectly but good enough for us for this experiment so we have some beard hair coming down into um, the forehead and that looks pretty fun actually already so I think we need to fix this area down here a little bit more that doesn't look too good let's switch back to the brush let's see if we can use the same brush to make here more of like a rough um, edge that blends over better into the other beard okay that looks good so now we have a beard face inside of his beard that's having uh, the beard as the main hair of the head so that looks pretty fun and by the way a cool thing that you can do right now is you can just copy all of this effect um, down here and create a second face like that I'm not sure if we, I, I guess in this case we would have to take more preparation because we have also this kind of beard copy here. Um, but we can quickly try to do that. Let's see, does that work? Right now let's duplicate all of that and then resize it. Whoops, that was the wrong key. Put this down here. And we need this on the other face. I oh, know we need it on this face and we need this down here. We should now have actually a second. Yeah, this should actually work. The problem is that we have to draw it in here on the second mask for the beard too. Let's switch uh, the brushes real quick back to this one back to the color black and there we go there is our guy again you can see this is easily copied into another instance um, of the face don't have to do that it's it's more like a fun thing uh, you could additionally do if you wanted to we can move this down a little bit more like this okay there we go so we have these two versions of the beard face you can see it's a lot of fun it's pretty easy to do i'm um, looking forward to see what you have done with these kind of experiments and thank you for watching see you in the next episode if you want to if you like my tutorials maybe subscribe to the channel i do two tutorials per week and if you want to support me even more head over to patreon where you can also find some interesting and nice benefits thank you very much and see you soon bye